Well, it was a moonless winter night in January of 1991. Operation Desert Storm began over Baghdad with a fearsome new American aircraft that Iraqi radar couldn't see. Members of the 37th Fighter Wing piloted this plane. It's the Lockheed F-117 Stealth Fighter. During that same time and half a world away in Los Angeles, the man known as the father of the stealth fighter, Ben Rich, was being honored at his retirement from Lockheed. He was born in 1925, a British subject in the Philippine Islands. He traveled extensively with his family until the attack on Pearl Harbor took them to California. At first, he considered a medical career, but then decided on civil engineering. Ben received a Bachelor of Science degree from the University of California at Berkeley and his master's degree in the same subject from UCLA. In 1950, Ben joined Lockheed's engineering staff. Post-war was a busy time in aviation. Ben participated in aerodynamic, thermodynamic, propulsion, and preliminary design aspects of the F-104, the YF-12, SR-71, and numerous other sophisticated programs. Lockheed was also involved in commercial aviation. Ben worked on two prototypes of the Constellation, or Connie, as she was called. In 1954, Ben's career took an exciting and challenging turn. The legendary Kelly Johnson selected Ben to work for six weeks in the highly secretive world of Lockheed Skunk Works. The team was developing high-altitude reconnaissance aircraft that later would be known as the U-2 used during the Cold War to gather intelligence over the Soviet Union and Eastern Bloc nations. What was supposed to be a temporary assignment at Skunk Works became Ben's 36-year career, except for a few assignments outside the secret organization. During the early 60s, the Skunk Works team was developing the successor to the U-2. Ben worked on the propulsion. Ben was having a heat problem with a new Mach 3 plane and suggested to Kelly that they paint the airplane black to eliminate some of the heat. Kelly at first thought Ben was crazy, and he told him that he, Kelly, was trying to reduce the plane's weight, not add to it. After Kelly did his own research, he gave Ben the quarter that they'd bet and admitted he was wrong. The new aircraft became known as the Blackbird family of reconnaissance planes. At that time, the fastest and highest flying jets in the world. Kelly Johnson retired in 1975 and selected Ben Rich to be the new Chief Skunk. Ben was in his element heading the organization. Be quick, be quiet, and be on time. Those three things contributed to cost because time was money. Be quick, be quiet, don't get a lot of attention, as Ray said. Don't get the whole world watching you and focused on you so you go to help to death. And be on time, be on schedule. If you made your schedule, you did it right the first time, you made your cost. As head of Skunk Works, Ben also was its chief salesperson. So he spent a lot of time in Washington, D.C. In 40 years at Lockheed, Ben worked on more than two dozen aircraft programs, including some that didn't make it, and on others, that would become famous. In the late 70s, a highly classified program was brewing inside Skunk Works. Ben put together a team that flew two prototypes known by the code name Have Blue. This evolved into the world's first operational stealth aircraft, the F-117A. When the U.S. Air Force ordered the stealth fighter into production in the 1980s, Lockheed built a fleet of the aircraft that would be the crown jewel of Ben's career. It was 1988 before the Air Force acknowledged that the F-117 existed. Two years later, the National Aeronautic Association awarded the Collier Trophy to Ben and the Lockheed and Air Force teams that had developed the stealth. In Operation Desert Storm, the F-117s flew more than 1,270 combat sorties, logged over 6,900 combat hours, and dropped more than 2,000 tons of ordnance with pinpoint accuracy. All F-117s and crew members returned safely. Ben's other honors include being selected as the San Fernando Valley Engineer of the Year in 1981. 
He was elected to the National Academy of Engineering in 1989 and was named UCLA's Alumnus Engineer of the Year in 1982. In 1988, Ben was selected as the Wright Brothers Lecturer for both the AIAA and the Royal Aeronautical Society. Ben Rich, who died in 1995, had a career that spanned 40 years as an engineer and executive. He became an international representative and innovator in aviation. For these achievements, Ben Rich has earned his enshrinement into the National Aviation Hall of Fame.